I'm Edwina from My Craft Orchard. How are you? Now, I have to say, I'm ever so sorry I didn't post last week. We went on holiday and then I had an absolute awful cold that my son decided to share with me. Um, and then I was working in my mum's shop for a few days and you know what? Sometimes I just don't have time to breathe and let alone film a video for you. So I do apologise. Um, I'm ever so sorry. So hello to anybody who's been subscribed for a while and welcome to those who are just joining me. Um, I really do um, love the fact that you want to see what I'm up to and I love making these videos for you. Um, so let's have a look at what we're going to look at today. This notebook um, I bought out of the works for about £2 so it wasn't an expensive notebook but on the front it's got um, All of Those Who Wander Are Not Lost by J.R.R. Tolkien and I just love The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and all that sort of things and this, this um, picture of a, a, a walkway just speaks to me in such a way. So I love this notebook. And the paper in it isn't sort of the best. It's 80 grams, I believe. Um, and it is nice. It's nice to write on, but it's not what I would call your moleskin or, or that's, you know, Tome River paper type. So what I actually use this book for is it's like a catch-all notebook. And I recommend any of you go and get just a fairly cheap notebook that you love like I do the love of this this one the cover of this one so you use it and it just is one of those notebooks you think oh I've got this idea so you grab it to write it down or oh I just want to work this out so I grab it and this is where I write it down so I was just going to do a quick flip through of what's in here so um, I've got uh, ideas for writing practices, um, ideas for my novel, ideas for a craft book, um, I had a dream about something so I wrote that down, um, things that I was encountering says PI says problems with YouTube, <laughs> so things I was sort of going through in my head thinking oh well that needs to change or this needs to be done. Um, what I need a notebook what's that one that is a list of various things of how I was going to set out a journal spread um, here we go YouTube filming how to incorporate all the rest of the sort of social media things that a lot of other YouTubers are doing and I'm not so I was trying to work out how I could fit it all in a weekly checklist that was sort of starting to make things for that another youtube checklist instagram facebook that sort of thing if i was going to do an online course a bit of a, a, a brain it's more of like a, a brain download a brain dump type book of you know working workout book that sort of thing uh and then i've got some nanorimo preptober sort of trackers that they're not proper trackers they're just scribbles basically they're just scribbles of all oh, you know if i do this or i do that and pros and cons of of handwriting a, a, a manuscript um that sort of thing oh some mind maps on teaching and um minecraft orchard type things bit of a mind map there uh, some notes on the 12 weeks of Christmas and if you you haven't been uh, catching my 12 weeks of Christmas videos um, I'll link them below check them out because um, we're already halfway through um, we're almost was it uh, I'm filming this on Remembrance Sunday which is the 14th so we're now five weeks to the kids break up six weeks to Christmas so not long really to get <laughs> all of the planning and all of the presents and that done. Um, what have I got? Some ideas and sort of skills I'd need. Different journeys, some more things for my novel. Um, and then 
I had 12 days before NaNoWriMo started so I was trying to do a bit of a workout this one is a spread I was having a look at um, I was watching a lot of videos and things on other people how they do their bullet journaling and that and I thought oh let's see if I can change the way I do my spreads to work better um, and so I was having a play with that in there and this last one is, is what I thought I'd have a chat to you about today and that is 2022 planning now you're like do we know it's still November what are you talking about it's a bit early well no actually it's not <laughs> and I'll tell you why it's not too early to think about your 2022 planners and what you're going to use is because there's a lot of planners in the shops and people are going to be buying you Christmas presents so what you can do is you can if you think about what you need now for next year you can then ask people oh can I have that planner or um, when you see the planner that you want or you've got time to research what you want you can then say to hobby which is what I normally do and go oh I would really like that expensive planner um, for Christmas or my birthday in fact that's what I've already done I've already <laughs> gave him two things I went I'll have them for my birthday <laughs> <Bless him. laughs> so I watched a video with planning Annie and she's done um, a lovely video on mind mapping what it is you need she, we're very similar in respect to who are you what is it you need because what you need is different to what your sister needs to what your friend needs to what your mom needs so this is what I, I, I've done really I've um, anybody who's been following me for a while, while will know but I have five elements to my life I have my personal things my craft orchard which is this channel the daisy craft which is the business that I run with my husband we're on online haberdashers um, I've started writing a novel and trying to learn the craft of writing so there's that element and then there's my home and my family and that sort of thing so what I did was I sort of split two pages into five um, and I have got a video on deciding who you are and what it is you need and so it's a very similar thing to what is it you need in 2022 so the first thing you do is you go down and you say these are my elements of me I'm a mom I uh, I've got a run of business I have family I have to look after I've got a six-year-old child all of those sort of things so I've put up, put the five elements in and then underneath I've written what worked for me this year. So my A4 diary, again I've got a video on how I've set that up for my daisy craft, worked really well last year So and I'm keeping that for next year. And then I've got a, a, a finance bojo as well. Um, my personal stuff changes, so every month um, I change my personal planning. Um, so I've got a monthly bojo, rings or, or um, a traveller's notebook because every month I'm in something different so I've put all of those in there but then things that don't change are things like my finance book, my moleskin yearly and what I'm calling my Harry book which is a record of um, things we do on half terms and if he's been good at school and all of those sort of things. Um, then there's the my craft auction. Now my craft orchard stuff is I've actually got an 18 month content planner so that's not going to change for 2022 because it runs all the way through the year so that's that's already gone in there so that's what I did first I went in and went this is working so I'm keeping that this is what I've already decided or what I've already got so that went in so the next thing I did was have a think about what didn't work last year what isn't working at the, at the moment? What do I like? What do I not like? Now, I love rings. I love a bullet journal. I'm actually really liking these coil notebooks at the moment. I love a traveller's notebook. I love a pocket. The one thing I don't like are discs. And I've tried several times and I do have a couple of disc planners. Notebooks, should I say. And I just can't make them work and the other thing 
that I have trouble with is a planner that is already got everything in it because it never seems to have enough note pages on it let's say or the um, monthly is a Sunday start and I'm on a it's a Sunday start and I'm on a Monday start so pre-planned planners never seem to gel in all fairness my content planner is um, already printed it's already rings but I've had to frank and plan that to make it work for me um, which I felt was quite successful which is what I did with my daisy craft it was a notebook that I frank and planned so that's the sort of thing I'd like you to have a think about um, and just have a you know what is it you need for 2022 what works what what doesn't work do you like the look of a Hobonichi now my problem with the Hobonichi is and I would love one would love a Hobonichi cousin but would I actually use it and it's very expensive and they're hard to get here in the UK unless you go to Japan or you order from America or you go to one of the Etsy shops because quite a few Etsy shops have got one of those and they're like the it planner at the moment so yes I'd like one but is it that ooh that's nice and shiny and everyone's got one and I need to have it or is it well actually I could use that myself so it's that questions those questions you need to ask you see what everybody else is using um, if you you've got what you've already got you've already used what you've got what works what doesn't work what are you wanting then once you've made this list go away think about it come back to it in a week and have another look and say yes actually these are what I want these is what I'm going to use and then you can tell your sister your mom your husband <laughs> to buy them for Christmas for your birthday for whatever any four last fowls and you get a bit of Christmas money or you've got that Christmas bonus you can buy it yourself <laughs> whatever works for you okay let me know in the comments what is it you're going to be using have you started planning for 2022 or is it miles away you're not even going to consider it at the moment um, let me know let me know what sort of things you like what do you dislike okay so my craft orchard with skills and ideas can grow i'll see you next time have fun bye